Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pantest Diary. So today I'll make another video in the series of a Docker and Container Security and this is a second video. And in this video itself, I'll try to cover up the differences between a virtual machine and the container. Why we why we are not using a virtual machine? Like we are using the virtual machine earlier, and now everywhere you are seeing like um, everyone is looking for the containers. Somewhere uh, every, anyone is saying that like virtual machine is a better option. Somewhere is saying container is a better option itself. So I just want to get it explaining each and every concept about it. How exactly in which section the virtual machine is better and which section the container is better. So we'll discuss about in all the scales itself on the basis of that we can conclude it in the end of the video itself i'll provide provide you the conclusion on it in which section like if you are a uh, infrastructure related guy itself who is managing a server and anything like that itself not a security guy just to get it managed that then at the time uh, which is the preferable thing like either like we have to go you have to go with the virtualization itself in case of vm or you have to go for the container itself so everything i'll try to get it explained and at the conclusion itself i'll provide you the full description about it so let me go ahead further with it both the technology a virtual machine and the containers are a virtual technology it's a virtualization technology itself which we have to use it like virtualization if you are aware about it virtualization is um, I can say that like it's a type of it's not existing uh, it's not the actual like we don't have a physical server of it on the top of the physical server we are making a virtual type of thing that we call it as a virtualization so there is an environment which we are building it which we call it as a virtualization on that virtualization environment we'll try to build the servers so that's coming under the category of the virtualization technology and in both the technology itself in vm and in the container itself we can build the server itself as per our need so i'll go further with that and uh, let you know about in in all the categories like taking an example for the level of virtualization talking about the resource consumption um, isolation portability if you're talking about the scalability user cases use case itself also one other thing i just want to give it from my side so that you can having a clarity on it like which is the better one okay so these all the stuffs i'll try to get it covered in this video itself so going further with the level of virtualization so if we're talking about the level of virtualization what it means so i'm reading the content and then i'll explain you about it what actually it means so vm virtualize the entire computer system including the hardware cpu memory storage and the operating system this allows you to run multiple operating system on a single physical machine so what it means like when we're talking about the virtual machines so the entire computer system where we are deploying the virtualization like example of the vm uh, we are deploying it in that case itself it consume the whole hardware which is get it defined for the virtualization and uh, it includes the cpu it includes the memory it includes the storage and operating system as as well on the top of it so the thing is that the what's the benefit of it it's allow you to run multiple operating system on a single physical machine take example you have one uh, chasis server or one blade server itself and one blade server you want almost uh, 20 uh, virtual machines to be gathered created on it then in that case it's feasible like you simply have to install uh, you simply have to install the vmware over there itself and by that way itself what you're supposed to do you have to build uh, you have to build as per that storage as per that um, uh, ram as per the cpus you can build the servers on the top of it multiple servers you can build it on the top of it and everyone is just uh, consuming as per that whatever the specified uh, like um, whatever the specified configuration you're defining for that vm it's get it utilized that only so that is actually be a virtual machine not talking about the container so container virtualize <coughs> the operating system layer it virtualize the operating system layer only they share the underlying host machine kernel but isolate application from each other at the user space level so what it means in case of virtual uh, vm also we are we are getting isolation like it's a highly store uh, isolation itself but if you're talking about the container also we have that isolation in the context of the user space level and the thing is that it's 
uh, it's sharing the host kernel so capability of the host kernel itself get its share by the container and everything is virtualized over there itself so that is the capability it's not consuming a lot but container virtualize the operating system only and rest the kernel will be get it shared by each and every container if you're taking 100 containers to be built on uh, on a single server itself it's accordingly that okay so it will share it it will not like we have to get a defined like you have to consume 2 gb ram you have to consume 4 gb ram nothing like that it's get it consumed on the basis of the sharing itself whatever the consumption over there itself how many containers are running over there itself on the basis of, of that only it will divide that and uh, share it um, along with all the containers running at the same time and even at the time itself uh, the use on the user level itself we have that application will be isolated on the user space level so what it means like you have built a, a application on it and when a user is trying to get it access that on a user level there is a isolation we can able to feel it like it's nothing like that you can't get it access the functionality of other user itself so user level isolation is there itself in container okay now going further with the next section which is a resource which is most important like most of the enterprise organization they are paying a lot of money just to uh, they are paying it just for the resource itself if i'm talking about they are paying a lot in case of resource like example um, if i'm talking about like before docker itself when um, anyone is building a server like I, I will recall one of the case like when i'm working for one of the organization at the time they have hardly a storage of uh, i think they hardly a storage of 40 tv that was a storage I'm talking about the storage the complete storage they have it it was storage for entire organization 40 tv just imagine it 40 tv is nothing right now but at the time they have only hardly 40 terabyte in that itself they having that backups also to be get it stored and even they have their servers also so that is too much expensive like at the time just increasing the storage increasing the capability uh, adding new servers it's a bit like you have to pay a lot of money in that case itself but now in case of container is nothing like this so i will read the content for you vm require more resources as the boot their own uh, own os as have a separate virtual hardware layer they are heavier and take a longer time to start and compare to the container itself so that definitely when you are deploying that on a uh, physical machine itself it's having their own operating system and to get it boot it required time so if you're talking about the resource consumption it's too high in case of in case of vm itself as it will boot the operating system on on the top of that base machine itself it will run it and on the basis of that uh, the consumption will bit high as compared to the container container is a lightweight share the host kernel as we discussed in the last point making them more resource efficient and they start much faster itself so it starts a bit faster uh, it's a resource efficient one and i can say that it's uh, sharing the host kernel itself so it's nothing like that it's utilizing for individual containers it's utilizing different different type of kernels no it's a single host kernel itself to be get it shared by multiple containers so that's a resource consumption for the resource consumption also a container is a better option for it now talking talking about the isolation over here the main point with which you're talking about in case of vm provides a strong isolation why it is because they have their own operating instances like take example one uh, one vm like on a main physical machine itself you have multiple of the 40 servers you have you have built it on that on the physical machine uh, 10 of uh, windows 10 of uh, linux 10 of red hat so you can build it but in that case the isolation is there itself you can't interact you can't use the data of any other uh, server itself that was isolation strong isolation you are getting in case of virtual machine but if we talking about the container while container provide the isolation at the user space level what it means it's on a user space level only you are getting that it's not on a container level they can share the kernel and their container a security issue in one container it will imp uh, potential impact on the whole all the container present on that machine itself so i can say even uh, it's a bit faster even in case of container if you are uh, you have the isolation on a user level but if there is an impact on one of the container which is presently example you have 10 containers so out of 10 container if 
वन कंटेनर हैविंग अ पोटेंशियल इम्पैक्ट देन इन दैट केस डेफिनेटली ऑल रेस्ट नाइन कंटेनर्स आल्सो बी हैविंग अ इम्पैक्ट ऑन इट सो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन केस ऑफ आइसोलेशन इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द आइसोलेशन डेफिनेटली कंटेनर इज नॉट द बेटर ऑप्शन फॉर अस नाउ गोइंग फर्दर विद द पोर्टेबिलिटी so vm are portable across different hardware platform as long as the underlying virtualization technology is supportive so it's totally be depend on the technology whether it's supportive over there itself or not however the os image can be large or take longer to transfer so that's also another thing like there are two points in case of vm itself if you're talking about the portability one is it totally depend on the technology it totally depend on the virtualization technology which we are using at the destination and take example i have the operating system right now if i'll take a backup of it and try to get it send it to you so if you are not using like if you are not using at your end the same technology same virtualization in that case you can't use that vm which i'll provide it to you and the second point is as the now uh, as it's operating system based vm itself so it's a bigger storage like it's it's a bigger file which you have to send it to the destination so it will take a backup you have to send it that it will take a lot of time to transfer it from one point to another itself that is a bigger problem in case of virtual machine it's nothing like that we have to put it in a hard drive and we have to send that guy to the destination that person have just transferred that vm over there so it's not feasible now so i'm talking about if we have to get a transfer on internet level it's bit taking a time in case of container it's not container are highly portable because they are a uh, <coughs> self contained and rely less on underlying hardware itself so it's not relying on a hardware itself it's not having any own hardwares it's relying like it's just utilizing on a shared level itself it's not relying on any underlying hardwares their smaller size make them easier to distribute and deploy so take example if i have one container i will send it that file container image file to you and then in that case in a fraction of seconds itself you can deploy that on your and itself so Uh, in case of virtual machine it take a lot of time just to transfer the whole bunch bunch which i'm taking a backup for it and send it to you but in case of container is bit feasible i'll just have to send that image file and it's hardly a few mb or i can less than that also you can send it to the destination point that person can get it deployed and everything will be working fine for you so that is a difference in case of portability so in case of portability definitely a container is a better option for us now scalability <laughs> so scalability in case of virtual machine scaling vm involves um, provisioning additional hardware resources or creating new vm instances this process can be slower compared to the container itself so it says obvious like as it's so deep it depend on the base machine itself whatever that hardware capability we have it as a base machine it totally be depend on that only okay so talking about like right now you have uh, taking example 64 gb as a base store uh, 64 gb ram as a base uh, hardware itself you have it so taking example if you have already exhausted 64 gb then in that case there is no possibility to get it utilized more so in that case it definitely you have to either you have to purchase new hardware or you have to increase the capacity capability of it so it will take a time like it's not like that anyone is just instantly raise a uh, request for it i just want a server of 16 gb and that's not feasible we have to we have to go with the process in organizations we have to go with the process purchase a hardware then we have to purchase it release the po then we have to purchase it we have to deploy it that configure it harden it then we have to deploy that so it will take a lot of time for it in case of vm but if you talking about the container scaling container is easy and faster you can dynamically pin up pin up and down container instances based on the demand making them ideal for micro services architecture itself so it's as always itself like in case of containers nothing like that we have to purchase a new hardware it's not at all be dependent on that hardware itself that was the reason behind a container is bit faster to get a deploy and number of containers over there itself even we can make it up and make it down a uh, bit faster so that was the reason there is a comparison we talk about the scalability definitely a container having a edge on it as the on the top of the virtual machine so go ahead for the with the container in that case i'm not comparing that in such a way like you have to stop using virtual machine no it's having different uh, functionality and that feature are more valuable as compared to the container itself that was the reason still container uh, is available in the market still we are having a majority of portion uh, of the virtual machine still in the market itself that just because of the reason behind it going further with the use cases so 
definitely a use cases if you talking about the virtual machine in the container use cases in case of virtual machine ideal for running like a CU application application require a specific operating system not available on the host or situations demanding strong isolation and security that's a, a that's a part of the use cases itself so if we are looking for a strong isolation definitely we have to go with a virtual machine if we are looking for a legacy application to be get deployed we do not take a risk to get it down that like taking example a banking application any financial institution application we do not want to be get it down that was the reason we are going further with that virtualization only and which we call it as a vm where we have to deploy that application start going with the container so as it's not relying over there itself as i told you about it like it's not much relied in case of if i'm talking about the isolation these things about it talking about the container perfect for deploying microservices stateless applications and uh, de development testing environment there are fast startup times portability and the efficient resources utilized are crucial so that's coming under the category of the container itself where we have uh, we can deploy the server faster multiple environment we can build it as per a need itself and that's not feasible in case of vm we have to uh, even if we are trying to make a development testing environment definitely we have to consume the same type of uh, so, um, configuration for the server itself like definitely it's not a production type of configuration but at least if you have in a production 16 gb ram you require at least a 8 gb or 4 gb ram on your test or uh, development environment itself so that's one of the thing which we have to bear in, in case of virtual machine but in case of container nothing like that you can make it you can spin it uh, a number of containers as per your need itself and it's a bit uh, portable and it's a bit faster to get it boot up these are the if i'll talk about the differences for it definitely you can able to go through it itself so level of virtualization hardware and the operating system and it's a operating system layer itself in case of container talking about the features if we're talking about the resource consumption it's high in case of virtual but it's low in case of container isolation definitely this is one of the point by which uh, everyone is looking for the virtual machine right now so that is a bit strong in case of container it's moderate we can customize it as per a need itself but it's still i can say that it's reached to the moderate level not to the level where we can say that everything is in a strong mode in case of container we don't have the isolation in a strong mode now talking about the portability so portability i can say that it's in a moderate mode in case of virtual machine you have to take a backup you have to send it transfer to that uh, destination and where that person should require the same virtualization technology then only that person can deploy that but in case of container it's a bit high like you can make that file sign it to the destination and and that system will be get container will be get it up in next 10 minute or five minutes itself you can make it up scalability it's slower as we have to purchase the hardware we have to go with that way but if we're talking about the containers it's a bit faster how many containers you wanted you can spin it as per the need itself that was the reason a testing and the development environment and the production it's fit bit feasible for us for the microservices but easy for us to make that in containers now talking about the use cases so in case of use cases we are talking about legacy application and specific os needs like if we want a specific os needs then in that case virtual machine is one of the preferable option for it legacy application if we have talking about the banking application any financial institution application application itself which is highly critical i can say that a um, tier one application or i can say that a cron job level application in that case definitely we have to go further with that virtual machine itself but if we talk about the microservices stateless application definitely we have to go with the containers now this is the conclusion and choosing between a vm and the container depends on the specific requirement for strong isolation and a legacy application vm might be a better option which we have already discussed about it now if we talk about the next section however for modern development practices deploying microservices and maximizing the resource efficiency container are preferred choice you can even leverage both technologies together on a vm and um, a vm can host a containers so take example you have one vm machine on the top of it also you can make a containers also so that's also one of the feasibility for it you can make an environment on top of it so that's also one of the thing where you can combine both the technologies if you want to use it separately that's also one of the thing but these are the differences by which 
which you can able to categorize it in which section we have to use a container where you have to use the virtual machine so that's all about the stuff which i just want to get it covered in this video itself i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you so much once again take care bye bye